Are you struggling with anxiety or a mood disorder? Or, or maybe you're having a healing crisis right now relating to cancer or something else that uh, you're really wanting some help with. I want to share with you, there's something that you probably would really benefit from. In fact, I know for sure you would, and it relates to the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a nerve that not a lot of people know about, and it's not the vagus that we go to where what happens in the vagus stays in the vagus. That's not it. The vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S, is a really crucial and an important part of our body to help us reset. So I have a couple of suggestions for you, some exercises to help you tone the vagus nerve that can absolutely help with getting you into that more mental reset state in order to calm the body. So I want to share more with you. I'm Lori Soleil. I'm an award-winning hypnotherapist, mindset coach, and spiritual development coach. And stay tuned because I'm going to share some really great exercises. I know that you are probably stressed like most Americans and actually the medical industry talks about stress being the number one reason why we suffer from disease or burnout or overwhelm, right? It really has to do with understanding the physiology of our body and when we work with the nervous system, we can have incredible, uh, we can have, well there, there's benefits from working and understanding the nervous system. So let me explain that first before I talk about the vagus nerve, which plays a crucial role in helping you get to that reset, right? Bringing more peace and harmony into your life, into your body. There's two, this, the central nervous system is broken up into two different nervous systems. One is the sympathetic, and that relates to our fight, flight, or freeze. That's when we are in alert, right? We've, something's going on where we have to pay attention, uh, we are either fighting, right, or we're running from a lion, right, back in the day. But our mind doesn't know the difference between real and imagined. So much of this, these, the stress that's happening in our life has to do with our perception. So again, that's activating the sympathetic nervous system. What we want to be able to do is move into the parasympathetic, which is the rest, restore, and digest nervous system. Most people are operating from their sympathetic, the fight, flight, or freeze, most of the time throughout their day. So it's no wonder that a lot of people are struggling with their health or dealing with a health crisis because the body isn't able to move into the nervous system that helps it rest, restore, and digest our food. So a lot of people are dealing with digestive issues or sleep issues. So here's what I wanna share with you. The vagus nerve, and I highly recommend you do a little bit of research on it. It's so interesting and powerful and such a wonderful thing to know about our own body that we can reset it. Once we recognize that we've been triggered in a stressed state, we can first aware, become aware of that, but then we can do things to help our body to reset itself. And the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S, is a meandering nerve throughout the body, starts in the skull, starts in the brain, and it winds its way all the way through the body and it touches on most of the organs. So when the vagus nerve is not operating correctly, our body is out of sync. Our body is in a diseased state. So the most important thing we can do is to start to tone our vagus nerve again. And there's a couple of exercises that I want to recommend for you that I have found to be super powerful for me whenever I get triggered. One is cold therapy, and you might know of Wim Hof. He's the person right now that a lot of people are talking about. They call him the Ice Man, but more importantly, he's really representing this cold therapy concept in order to reset the nervous system again, to tone the vagal nerve. So one of the ways that we can use cold therapy, some people are using um, the cryo chambers where they're really getting into a very cold environment but I personally find it easy enough to do cold showers. And I don't start off cold, I start with warm water, but I'm finding that my body would like cooler and cooler water as I begin. But I first started with warm, a warm shower, and then I started to gradually decrease the heat down to cold water completely. And it took me a little bit of time to do that. And what I noticed is when I, after I'd been practicing, I was able to release that internal gasp, that like, <gasps> that moment when <laughs> the cold water hits you, like, ah! 
I feel so exhilarated afterwards. So I'm able to now stand under the cold water for a couple of minutes and just allow it to reset my system. So that's the first exercise I would recommend. The second is to gargle. Gargling actually helps to activate the vagus nerve. And what they say to do when you gargle is you're gonna gargle to the point where you actually, your eyes begin to water a little bit. That is an, an indication that you're getting the vagal toning uh, that that's happening in the body. So that gargling would be the second the second recommendation or exercise in order to reset your system. The third, I love this one. This is such an amazing way to reset your vagal nerve and that is to laugh. You know, you might have read stories about people who were in healing crisis and they started watching comedies. They did the comedy therapy, the laughter therapy. Well, the laughter, first of all, helps to tighten up the, um, the pelvic floor when we laugh, we're also activating the vagus nerve, we're working the diaphragm. There's so many different really wonderful things that happen within the body when we're laughing. So those are the three recommendations I have for you in order to reset your nervous system, to move out of the stress response and into the re relax and restore response. Again, recapping, one is cold therapy. Cold showers are kind of my favorite. Two would be to gargle gargle to the point where the eyes are watering just slightly and you're gonna it might take a little bit but gargle with warm water would be wonderful and then the last is to laugh <laughs> to laugh bring in more laughter and fun and levity into your life again i'm Lori soleil with soleil creative i hope that helps thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel where i provide a lot more of this really wonderful information to help you get the best out of your life. And I say to awaken the heaven within because you have incredible potential. You can do anything you put your mind to. I believe that wholeheartedly and you are perfect, resourceful and whole. And for you to bring in this self authority in order to shape your life is one of the most important things that you can do. So thank you again for watching. Have a great day.